Hey everyone, it's John here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you nine essential regex formulas in Excel. So Excel now has three dedicated regex functions, as well as you can use regex in XLOOKUP and XMATCH now. So let's take a look at these nine essential regex formulas. The first regex formula that we're gonna take a look at is going to allow us to test whether a file name is of a given type. And for this, we're going to use the regex test function. And this is going to allow us to check whether some text matches a given pattern and either return a true or false for that and return a true if it matches and false otherwise. So the regex test function is going to take the text that we want to test and then the pattern that we want to match. And so in this case, we're going to use this regex pattern here. And we've also got a third optional argument here that's going to allow us to either have case sensitive matches or case insensitive matches. And by default, this is going to be a case sensitive match. So let's just go with the default. And when we press enter, we're going to get our true or false values, depending on whether these match the given file types. So in this regex pattern here, we've got the first part, which is a slash with a dot. And this is just going to allow us to match the literal period character. Then within parentheses, we've got three file types separated by the pipe symbol. So this group is going to allow us to match any one of these items separated by our pipe character. And then finally, at the end, we've got a dollar symbol. And this just tells us that this match needs to occur at the end of the string. So here, for example, we've got a file name ending in dot doc x and here we're returning a true with our regex test formula and here for example we've got dot png and our formula returns false as it doesn't match one of those three file types the next regex formula we're going to take a look at is for validating an email address and again we're going to use the regex test function for this to return either true if it's an email address or false otherwise and here's the regex pattern that we're going to use. So the first part of this pattern is going to match the ID part of an email. And this is just going to allow us to have letters, numbers, an underscore character or a period character or a dash or hyphen character. And the plus quantifier at the end here means that we need at least one or more of these characters to appear. After that, we're going to match the at symbol. And then the third part of our pattern here is going to match the domain part of our email address. And so here we're going to allow any digits, lowercase letters, a period, or hyphen. And then again, the plus quantifier here means that we need at least one or more of these characters to appear in our domain. Then the fourth part of our pattern is just going to look for a literal dot as the match. And then the last part of our pattern here is going to match the top level domain of our email address. So this is the .com, .org, .ca, or other types of top level domains. And here this needs to contain lowercase letters. And here we're also going to specify that we need at least two and a maximum of five characters in this top level domain. So now we can use our regex test function and we're gonna test our email addresses here with our email pattern. And it's going to return true if that's valid email and false otherwise. The next regex formula we're gonna take a look at is to match a social security number. And again, we're gonna use the regex test function to determine if something is or isn't a social security number. And the pattern that we're going to use is this. So here the caret character asserts the start of our string. Then the next part here is going to match any three digits. So these are zero to nine. So any three numbers from zero to nine. And then after that, we need to have a hyphen. And then after that, we're going to match another two digits. So any two digits from zero to nine. And then again, we're gonna have another hyphen. And then after that, we're going to match any four digits from zero to nine. And at the end here, we have a dollar symbol to assert the end of our string. So here we're gonna use the regex test function. 
and test our text values here with this pattern. And when we press enter, we get either true or false. So here, for example, we've got something that is a social security number. So it has three digits with a dash, followed by two digits, followed by a dash, and then followed by another four digits. Whereas here, for example, the text value here starts with only two digits followed by a dash, so it doesn't match our social security number pattern. The next formula we're going to take a look at is going to allow us to extract dates from text. So here we've got some text, and you can see that it also contains a date value in there somewhere. And sometimes this is at the start, sometimes it's at the end. But with regex, it's going to be quite easy to extract that date based on the date pattern itself. So the regex pattern that we're going to use here has a word boundary at the start. So this just ensures that our pattern is matching the entire word. Then after that, we're going to match any four digits for our year, followed by a hyphen, followed by any two digits for our month, followed by a hyphen, and then followed by any two digits for our day. And then we're going to end this pattern also with a word boundary to ensure our pattern matches the entire word based on space characters. And with this pattern, how we're going to extract the date is with the regex extract function. So this one's going to allow us to extract values based on a regex pattern from our text. So here, the regex extract function takes the text we want to extract from and the pattern that we want to use to extract our values based on. And when we press enter, we get our date value. And here I'm just going to adjust this to return all of our text values. And you can see that we get the date value from each of our text items now. The next regex formula we're going to take a look at is going to allow us to extract text from between two parentheses. So here we've got some file names. And then within parentheses, we've got some versioning for these file names. And here we can use the regex extract function to extract that text for us. And to do this, we're going to use this regex pattern here. So this regex pattern, the first part is going to match the literal opening parentheses. And then the next part of our regex pattern captures one or more characters that are not a closing parentheses. So the caret followed by the closing parentheses allows us to extract characters that don't match the closing parentheses character. And then the plus character here ensures that we match at least one or more of these non-closing parentheses characters. And then again, at the end, we're going to match our literal closing parentheses. So here we're going to use our regex extract formula. And here we're going to extract from our list of file names here. And we're going to use this pattern. And when we press enter, we get the text between our two parentheses. The next regex formula we're going to take a look at is going to allow us to extract all emails from text. So here we've got some text and you can see that there's multiple email addresses in there. And we can actually use the regex extract function to extract all of these. So here we're going to use the same regex pattern for validating our email that we saw previously. And here, if we use our regex extract function, then we can extract from our text using this pattern. And if I press enter, then we're only going to get the first email address returned from our text. But if we edit this, then we do actually have a third optional argument. And this is going to allow us to return all matches from our text. And when we press enter, then you can see that we get three email addresses from our text here. And if we want, we can use the transpose function so that this is spilled vertically instead. And there we go, we've got all of our email addresses from our text here. The next regex formulas we're gonna take a look at 
is going to allow us to remove alpha characters, numeric characters, or other characters from our text. And in order to do this, we're going to use the regex replace function. So in our first example here, we're going to remove all of our numeric values from our text. And the regex pattern that we're going to use for this is just going to match any digits from zero to nine. So here we can use regex replace and we're gonna replace values in our text based on this pattern here. So matching any digits. And what we're gonna replace those with is just going to be an empty string. And when we press enter, we get our text returned minus all of our numeric values, but with any alpha characters or other characters still there. Similarly, we can remove any alpha characters. So here our regex pattern is going to match lowercase or uppercase letters. And here we can use regex replace in our text with our pattern here. And again, we're gonna replace it with an empty string. And what we get returned is everything minus all the alpha characters. And lastly, we can also remove any other characters such as punctuation or other symbols so here the regex pattern that we're going to use is going to negate any lowercase or uppercase letters, any digits or any space characters and going to match with anything that's not one of those characters. And so if we use the regex replace function on our text with this pattern here and again replace everything that it matches with an empty string then it's going to remove all of those symbols and other punctuation characters. So essentially it's going to match anything that's not an alpha character, a numeric character, or a space character, and then replace those. The next regex formula we're gonna take a look at is going to allow us to format credit card numbers. So here we've got some text, which is actually 12 numbers. And what we're going to do is insert a dash in between each of our blocks of four digits so that these look like a credit card number. And in order to do that, we're going to use the regex replace function along with this regex here. So this regex pattern is going to match exactly four digits in a row. And then the next part of our regex pattern is a positive look ahead so it's going to make sure that the next four characters in our text is also four digits. And then this way we're going to be able to put a dash character in between our blocks of four digits using our regex replace function. So here we're gonna use regex replace on our text values of 12 digits. And here we're going to use this pattern to replace our text. And what we're gonna replace it with is a dash symbol. But if we only use a dash symbol here, then what's gonna happen is we're going to get three dashes. So replacing our first three blocks of four characters, followed by our last four characters. So what we need to do is reference in our replacement, our capture group, and in order to do this, we can use a dollar symbol and a one to indicate the first capture group in our regex pattern, which is matching exactly four digits. And when we press enter, then we get our text values with dashes inserted between each block of four characters. And here, let's just extend this range to return all of our credit card numbers now we can also use the regex replace function to mask our credit card numbers. So here we're going to use the regex replace function again on our credit card numbers with the same pattern. And this time we're going to replace any match with a series of stars followed by a dash. And when we press enter, what happens is our first three blocks are replaced with star characters or asterisks. And then we've got the last four digits in our credit card number visible. 
The last regex formula we're going to take a look at is going to allow us to split text into separate cells based on capital letters. So here we've got some text with capital letters throughout. And we can use this regex pattern here to match our capitals followed by any number of lowercase letters. And then we can use the regex extract function to extract based on these capital letters. So here let's use regex extract on our text. And here we're going to extract based on this pattern. And let's use an absolute reference on that pattern so that we can copy and paste our formula down. And then we're also going to return all matches in this case. And when we press enter, we get our text separated based on the capital letters in it. And we can copy and paste this formula down and get all of our text separated. So there you have it, nine essential regex formulas in Excel. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.